What's going on guys? Uh, I just wanted to comment on a few things that have been happening in my last weekend. I finished up my six pages, uh, inking them anyway, to, and now that's paused. So this week I've been working on my own commission, and commissions are a funny beast. I initially accepted it, I had about two and a half weeks. Took one of those weeks to work on my, or finishing up the, that short story to the point where I could, uh, and then jumped over to working on this commission. Uh, up here right now, you should be showing, seeing me starting that painting. Um, all in all, the commission took me a few days to finish. Um, a lot of that was waiting for paint to dry, uh, layering stuff, whatnot. Um, it is a really sweet, sweet idea. Um, one of my friends is a father and he wanted to do this commission for his daughter. Um, she is in ballet. He hopes to ensure that she enjoys ballet by giving her this gift of a painting. Um, it is going to be a Peter Pan inspired uh, painting with silhouettes of her dancing uh, this dance for her first recital. Um, it also has one of the famous sayings from Peter Pan uh, written amongst it and I think it's just going to turn out really great. Uh, I'm excited about finishing it up. Uh, I've got yet to do the silhouettes and the saying. Not quite sure how I want to do those yet. Um, but I'm excited by the whole project just because the it's sweet the reason behind it, and this is why art exists um, I think it's kind of funny also that I'm using this art to pay for a uh, piece of art I commissioned from another artist friend um, and that is of Casca uh, I believe I've said something about it I might have shown something late December um, I spoke about um, crying tears of happiness in the middle of a movie theater and that was just from the sketch uh, the painting looks incredible uh, I'm so excited to see it finished for the most part it is done I think it just needs to be uh, let dry and then varnished <sighs> commissions artist lifestyle all that good stuff. Um, Comixology finally accepted my submission for issue 7. Um, I spoke last time or a couple times ago about how it was tricky because I left the blue lines um, areas of the paper and it kind of threw off the uh, sensors for the pages and whatnot. So uh, all that straightened out now. Uh, it's been approved. Um, I've also fixed issue 7 for the proof. So uh, that's been corrected. Hopefully the new one will be out to me in a few days. Waiting on the printer should be delivered in a few days. Um, so with the commission almost done, um, all this other stuff uh, lining up, I was finally able to start working on issue 8 again and everything's falling into place so beautifully. Um, it's like the issue is writing itself which makes me so excited to get back to work on it. My friend who is a drummer, he's a mu musician by trade now. Um, we used to go to a bunch of concerts when I, would, I was in school for radio. Uh, we were both in school for radio, and we would go to concerts all the time, and mm, after I got out of radio, uh, we would still see the occasional show, and at some point he got bit and wanted to become a drummer, and he started practicing, and I was cheering him on, until one of the last shows we went to, um... He was enamored by him getting better and him getting better. So I asked him how many drumsticks he had broken at this point. Um, he said he hadn't broken any. I was like, well, 
you won't know that you're doing better until you start breaking drumsticks because those are like the rare treat for a concert goer is to get a broken drumstick because obviously the drummer can't use it anymore and it's just something that's been battle worn and tested and tried and true and has helped bring this music up to life. Um, so shortly after he started breaking a couple drumsticks, mm, I'd say every couple months or more so. Um, but I remember that first time he broke a drumstick and he was so excited. He called me, sent me pictures, and I was like, fuck yeah, man. Now you're a drummer. Um, so it happens that the other day he finally broke a cymbal. Which is insane to me because I know how much abuse those things can take. Uh, and he wanted me to have it. Which meant the world to me. Um, it's a useless piece of metal at this point, um, but it's priceless to me. So it joins my collection of artist memorabilia, and it's probably one of my favorite things right now. Um, it's that symbol that shows to stay on the path, stick with it, um, continue to strive to be better and better and better, and you keep hitting these goals little by little and at some point I'm gonna catch a concert of his and it's gonna be an awesome experience. Jan's latest sketch Alona, he was actually in Savi uh, for the workshop with Jake Parker. Um, he also does work some more work on the anthology project. I have to show it off because it looks so awesome. Um, so I'm gonna talk while this plays. Uh, it's just him uh, working on page four I believe um, but if you want to see the more of it uh, go check out his page I'll link it down below and it's awesome this this whole story that he's putting together is coming together beautifully um, I can't say enough good things about it because I'm so excited to read it and see it with my own eyes um, in printed form uh, also there's another thing that happened. Gaz uploaded his latest update, and I have to show off a couple different. Uh, but I was like, well, I should work on the horror. I don't want to completely lose uh, my momentum. So I forced myself to sit down and work for like 15 minutes or so, two hours later, and uh, I have a panel done. So good. Uh, I'm glad I did that. And it just goes to show that if, you know, if you're not feeling motivated, if you just force yourself to do it, it gets easier and you fall into the rhythm and you know, we're watching YouTube videos, the next thing I know, hey, the panel's done. And as I was getting like halfway through the panel, I was like, oh, I put about an hour in, that, that's probably good. And I'm like, let me finish the panel. And so it's, you know, you get the momentum and uh, Rolling Stone gathers no moss. That's not what I'm going for. Uh, an object in motion tends to stay in motion. That's the one I'm going for. Anyway, I'll show you what I did. But... Now this is outside of a military base. These three characters are not main characters. They're just pilot soldiers. Uh, this guy uh, is a more elite sort of pilot and they're just talking smack about him and then they see him oh he's coming burp and this guy doesn't see it uh this character uh again is not a named character he's probably only in this one scene but he might bear a passing resemblance to a certain uh, uh go check out gaz is the latest it'll be linked up top down below um yeah go check those out uh also you've sort of been doing some funny videos Any more than they were interested in me maybe i don't know <laughs> uh well Let's see what happens here. On the 7th of December, there... I talked about a dance coming up. The dance was a blast. Vanessa and Brad weren't there, but oh well. Oh, Brad wasn't there. Hmm. I had tons of fun without them. Especially without Brad. There's this one guy that kept coming up to our little group and dancing. It was sweet. He smelled good, too. I rubbed my butt on him and stuff. It was... So cool! God. I rubbed my butt on him, aka he danced on my ass. Um, she's been doing a lot of random diary readings and misconnections from Craigslist. It's all funny and hilarious, so go check those out. Um, until next time, uh, hopefully I will be working on issue 8 next time. Uh, well... Next time I'll probably be finishing up this commission. So you'll probably get another commission vi painting video 
uh, and then I'll probably be working on issue eight again, if not finishing up this short story. So love you guys. Thanks for paying attention and I will catch you next time later. So I had to do a quick little clip of me unboxing the beast that showed up. Um, I am going to get it out of the box. I'm not sure how well this is going to work with the window right here. It's probably going to blow out the video, but for a sense of scale, um, this is what I've been using for the last two years. Um, the first Kickstarter for the first issue paid for this little guy. Um, that's pretty quaint. Regular size scanny bed does a little bit better than eight and a half by eleven, but not much. This guy however is the beast. Uh, it is the Epson Workforce WF six seven or seventy six ten. I believe Jeff Lafferty has the one next size up from this, um, but this will allow me to not only scan in the original size 11 by 17 Bristol, but I can also print it now, which is badass as hell. So let me figure out something of how to do this unboxing for you, and we'll go from there.